Good morning students. Today we will start our next poem and the name of this poem is An Elementary School Classroom in a Slum. Once again, An Elementary School Classroom in a Slum. Clear? Stephen Spender. Who wrote this? Stephen Spender gives vivid expression to his awareness of the contemporary social and political problems. In his poem, An Elementary School Classroom in a Slum, he highlights the plight of the slum children. What he highlights? He highlights the plight of the slum children. He presents a sad picture. He presents a sad picture of the school classroom in a slum. He knows that the slum children are not provided good education. What? The slum children are not provided good education, without which they cannot realize their dreams. He feels that unless a concerted effort is not made, there can be no hope for better life for these hopeless children. He strikes a note, not down, he strikes a note of caution that these slum children must be given their rights if we do not want them to rise in revolt and indulge in destruction. Now let us discuss about the summary of this poem. Which poem? An elementary school classroom in a slum. First of all, I am defining the school in a slum. The poet gives a vivid description of an elementary school in a slum. The children studying there are in a pitiable condition. What type of condition? Pitiable condition. Their faces are pale, withered and worn out like uprooted weeds. Weeds means unwanted plants. They live in squalor and poverty. How they live? They live in squalor and poverty. There is a tall girl in the same classroom. Who is there? There is a tall girl who keeps her head down. She looks miserable and is in despair. There is a paper seeming boy. Note down one more person. There is a paper seeming boy who is very much weak. Why paper seeming boy? Because this boy is very much weak and appears to suffer from a disease. He has not grown physically, he has twisted bones and is ill-shaped. There is another student, not down, one more student is here in that classroom. There is another student who sits at the back unnoticed. He is sweet and young but is absent-minded. He dreams of a squirrel's game in the hollow of a tree. Now just you see, after that, the classroom of the school is not properly maintained. Its walls are dirty and creamy. How that walls are? Dirty and creamy and create a morbid atmosphere. What type of atmosphere? A morbid atmosphere. In a corner stands portrait or a bust of Shakespeare. The slum children can never appreciate the works of Shakespeare or other writers. There is a picture of a beautiful valley full of fragrant flowers. The children confined in their dirty world can never experience the fragrance of these beautiful flowers. There is also an open-handed map. What is there? There is also an open-handed map of the world in the classroom. But for these poor slum children, there is no world beyond their slum. Now, now you just see, now I am just telling you the life without any hope and fulfillment. The lives of the slum children have no ray of hope and fulfillment. These children in fact have lost the sense of appreciation and aesthetic experience. For them, Shakespeare is wicked. For them, note down, Shakespeare is wicked as they are unable to explore and understand him. The map is meaningless for them. The map is meaningless for them as they are unable to explore the vast world. They have the urge to fulfill their dreams, but they will not be able to do so unless they are educated and removed from the surroundings in which they live. Now through this poem, what is poet's advice and warning? For the slum children, it is extremely difficult to gain knowledge. 
their slums need to be demolished they must be shifted to areas where they may lead good life unless an effort is made to improve their lot by the governors teachers inspectors or visitors their lives will remain dark the slum will continue to be the narrow world for them once again the slum will continue to be the narrow world for them they will remain squeezed and will have a narrow and dark outlook on life so a great endeavor should be made to improve their lot before they revolt and destroy the town they should be given proper education they should be given proper education and shown green fields what shown green fields effort should be made to broaden their outlook they should be encouraged to read books and gain knowledge only educated and learned people can create history now let us discuss about the theme of this poem in this poem stephen spander points out that the social neglect of the slum children may prove to be dangerous for the rich exploited people slums must be abolished proper education should be given to the poor slum children a concerted effort may remove their poverty and backwardness teachers educationists inspectors and visitors all should sincerely work out for the betterment of the hopeless children if poor slum children continue to be neglected they might revolt and indulge in destruction now what is the message the poet wants to convey the message that the continued neglect of the slum children has wrecked them physically and morally they have lost the power to appreciate literature and nature the confinement in dirty surroundings has made them hopeless and insensitive therefore therefore efforts should be made to give them proper education slum should be removed slum children should be kept in clean surroundings the government and social organizations should take steps for the overall growth of these children otherwise otherwise we should be ready for a violent reaction from these neglected suppressed children living in slums in this way i have completed this poem i have completed this poem an elementary school classroom in a slum now we can discuss about some important questions regarding this poem my first question is what do you think about the color of sour cream why do you think the poet has used this expression to describe the classroom walls now listen the answer is the color of sour cream is of white how of white the poet has used this expression to describe the classroom walls because of their shabby decaying condition which in itself reflects the condition of the life lived by slum children now listen next question the walls of the classroom are decorated with the pictures of shakespeare building world map and beautiful valleys how do these contrast with the world of these children now see the answer the picture hung on the wall symbolize progress prosperity growth beauty and openness all these things are in sharp contrast with the poverty bleakness and ugliness of the world of slum children next question is what does the poet want for the children of the slums how can their lives be made to change the poet wants all the opportunities of progress and growth for these children the lives of these children can be changed if they are provided education and opportunities for free expression now pay attention regarding next question what is the theme of the poem the poem deals with the idea that the plight of the poor children living in slums is a plot on the civilized world 
we should all try to change their lives by providing them proper education and opportunities of self expression growth and progress now next question how does the poet depict the condition of the children living in the slum the poet depicts a despairing picture of children living in the slum these children live in poverty their faces are pale and diseased they are extremely thin and underfed they have no hope for their future last and final question the poet presents two different worlds the poet presents two different worlds in the poem what are they the poet refers to the beautiful world of the rich and the powerful it is a world in which there is progress and plenty in contrast there is a glee bleak world of the children living in the slum it is a world of narrow lanes cramped holes and heaps of filth clear thank you thank you very much and have a nice day